Hi everyone, Lisa here from LC Designs. How are you guys doing today? I myself have been under the weather a little bit and um, I think it's allergies. I kind of have a headache today, but the pollen is so thick here. I've just had headaches, congestion, itchy watery eyes, the works. But anyway, I'm just gonna let a few people hop on and um, you know, we'll get started. Um, just a couple of reminders, we'll do the business side first. Um, my last week's winners for the Touch My Heart was Kelly Frank and Jessica Jimbo Gimbog, Bach, Bach. I can't remember now. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But Jessica, I don't have your address, so if you send it to me, I can get this out to you. I apologize on the name. I should have wrote your last name too. So this week I'll be giving out the sweet ice cream um, stamp set for uh, whoever shares my video. So please share my video and then comment that you share my video and you'll be entered in to win. And the way that I pick the names, I use this thing online called Wheel of Names. So it's like a spinning thing. I put everybody's name in and then you spin it and then it picks the winner. So that's how the winners are chosen at random. So this week will be for the sweet ice cream stamp set. Um, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard that we got our new annual catalogs. I can only show you the cover. I got mine um, last week. There's a lot of nice things in there. You can see some pretty stuff on top. But if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like um, a catalog from me, just um, either comment below or you can message me and I will put you on my list. I currently don't have the catalogs on hand um, when I do, I will send them out. It's not, um, the products in here aren't available till May 4th anyway, but I'd like to get them out as soon as I can. So if you need a catalog, um, again, just message me or comment below and then I'll take your name down and put you on my list. <clears throat> Another thing is currently I have my gorgeous posies card class. And this comes with the kit that has this gorgeous box and you'll have all your supplies and um, there'll be four alternate cards and you'll get a package of stamp and seal, a brand new package of stamp and seal, and then plus a gift from me. The cost of this class is $35 and then it'll be $8 priority shipping if you order it to go. Otherwise, I will have a class in person where we'll make the four alternate cards and then some of the cards in the kit as well. The registration deadline is April 10th. So um, again, you can email me and let me know if you'd like to get this class. This is such a pretty kit and it's retiring, unfortunately. And then again, if you want today's make and takes, um, just place a $35 order on my online store and use this host code and um, I will get the make and takes out to you. And then if you spend 30, you get my sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial, which this month is all around Mother's Day. I don't have actually my product to sh my project to show you. I sent it out. So next week I'll try and make again make another one so I can show you. So I think that's the business. Oh, I have one other special for you. Actually, if you add a um, bottle of the Tombow liquid glue to your online order, I'm gonna send you one of these glue holders. It holds the glue. Uh, you probably see me using mine all the time. Um, my downline actually made these on her 3D printer. So if you add the liquid glue into your order, I will also send you the um, glue holder. These, I love it, love it, love it, love it. You know, some people use shot glasses or whatever, but this, it, she made it to fit actually perfect. 
So that's another special. So my project sheet is uploaded to this uh, page. All the measurements are here. It's actually two pages this week because I used a lot of blending brushes. I'm mean, not blending brushes, Stampin' Blends. Um, I have not done really, um, you know, um, masculine cards. So this week I wanted to focus on masculine cards. So um, today it's just three cards, no 3D projects. This is gonna be hard because I can't use Wink Estella. I mean, I guess I could, but you know. So let's get started with our first project. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Kelly. Kelly, you won the stamp set from last week, and I have your address, so I will get it out to you. So as I mentioned, we're going to use the stamp set A Good Man. This one has been in the catalog. I've used it a few times and just forgot about it and so wanted to use it. So our first card is going to be this one. And especially with Father's Day coming up, you can use these cards. Um, so let's get started. I have a lot of stuff already pre-cut just because I haven't been feeling well and I wasn't even sure if I was going to pull today off. So your card base is crumb cake and it's four and a quarter by 11. This is balmy blue and it's um, five and a quarter by four. I'm using the Brights DSP pack. Um, this one's three by four and a quarter. We have a stitched um, rectangle in the basic white. I actually have two of these, I only need one and then another rectangle for the sentiment and basic white. So um, let's get started with this piece first. Let's go ahead and emboss it. This is the textile, textile, tasteful textile folder. And we're just gonna go ahead and emboss this one. You can see I got my Stampin' emboss machine today. I use this one to emboss since I don't need the mag magnetic plate. <laughs> and I have it set up, so there's that. And let's see. Um, let's go ahead and adhere, oh, my pieces are flying, let's adhere this one. We're going to go ahead and use the liquid glue. I've been using a lot of liquid glue, so mine's probably getting empty. And then I'll just have to open that other one. But this stamp set is one of those ones that if you like to color, there's a lot of coloring involved. So this one, we're gonna be doing quite a bit of coloring. Um, we're gonna do some blending. I don't know about any of you, if you've used the blending brushes yet, um, they are on back order and they've been on back order for quite some time because I ordered, um, them quite a while back. So I guess they're a very popular item. But you know what? I wash mine out and then just use them. You know, they wash and then you can just use them again. So we're gonna stamp this in Memento Black ink onto our card or our rectangle. Hi Denise, how are you, my friend? So yeah, these ones I um I wash them. There's a little bit of uh, die on there but it's not gonna carry over onto my project so like I said my project sheet has a lot of blends you can see I use a lot of blends on this one um, so first we're gonna use flirty flamingo and I'll try and go fast because there's a lot of coloring so what I always do on my coloring I use the dark on the outlines and then I use the light to fill in. So any dark lines, I try to um, go over with the dark. And then the light, I just fill in. It just kind of gives it that little sort of shading in. I do it a quick, quick and easy way. 
Um, we're going to use, this is the Dark Seaside Spray. And also on my project sheet, anything that's retiring, there's an asterisk by it. So just so that you know that it's going to be retiring. Um, there's a lot of things going on right now. A lot of uh, products retiring. This stamp set luckily is not retiring. We need a lot of uh, masculine uh, stamp sets. Even though we like to add bows and sparkles and there are some things that you can use to make the cards fancy and just not um, blingy. The little girl's pants, I'm gonna use dark daffodil delight and light daffodil delight. I'm trying to go fast because we've got a these cards all have coloring going on in them. And then the dad, we're gonna do Dark Smoky Slate for the pants. Okay, I think I'm getting a little sloppy because I'm trying to go fast. Did everyone have a good Easter? I went over to my brother's and we had a good time. It was nice and sunny and then, um, he lives out in the valley here in Northern California, which we call the valley. And of course, I think that's probably where my allergies really got bad is it's always windy. It started out nice and everything and it just got super, super windy. So all that pollen and everything gets blown around. And uh, they have a swimming pool. My grandson got in the pool. I think he might have been a little crazy because that pool can have been too warm. But he enjoyed it. So just add some more dark lines on these dark ones. And then we're going to add ivory for the skin tone. So the arms. Her foot. There's a little bit of her backside showing her arm. I got my blue over a little bit and then a little bit on the neck. I think that's everything. And so the hair, I'm going to use dark crumb cake. So again, I'm just going over the dark lines with the dark. And then we'll fill in with the light. And light crumb cake to fill in. The reason these ones sound like they're kind of dry is I'm using both sets today, and this is probably not my better set because <laughs> I'm using them on one that I pulled out the other ones for another project. So we're going to now use the blending brushes. Like I said, I'm going to add a, I'm going to, oops, I lost you guys for a minute there. So I'm not sure which one's which. I washed them all, but I think this, we'll use this one for the, am I using balmy, yeah, balmy blue on this one. So just kind of, you know, again, start off so it's not so dark on your paper and then just work it in. I just wanted to add some color so this wasn't so, um, you know, just light or all white. So it kind of looks like they're just looking out into the sky. And we're gonna add a sun. Can you guys see the color coming in? Looks kind of light, but and I only went, I guess three quarters of the way down. See, I didn't go off on my paper first so it's a little bit dark there but I just wanted to add some color around and then we're gonna use Sahara sand and I'm gonna keep these I don't know if I'm gonna use that one so let's try this one with the Sahara sand on the bottom this is kind of a little bit dark as you can see I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter so I kind of brushed 
oops, I didn't brush off as much as I wanted to. But this is actually kind of a dark color. And it's not really even going on the coloring. Just to kind of, you just don't put so much pressure. But that's going to be that. And then like I showed you, oh my gosh, this is stuck. Oh, there. I was like, whoa, I might need that one again. It's like I showed you guys the other day. Or last time I just punched a hole mine's a one inch that Stampin Up's not gonna carry anymore and just laid it here and we're gonna use mango melody and this one you don't have to rub off too much just depending on how bright you want your Sun to be just go right on over and there's our sun. Ah, oh, I blew it again. Darn it. See, if we were gonna add some kind of bling, we could put bling over that or something. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna adhere this to this piece. And we'll just use liquid glue since I have it here again. Yeah, today I wanted to focus on um, just uh, masculine cards. I don't do enough of them at all. And then we're going to add this with liquid glue to the card base. And then um, the week, oh, last week I was telling you, I got a stand corrected that... Um, I actually messed this one up. This was supposed to go on with dimensionals. But it just won't be popped up. Last week I told you guys that Terran Tape was retiring. Yes, it was on the retired list, but it's not retiring. They just, um, they changed the number, the item number on it. So that item, the current item number is retiring retiring so it's still going to be in the catalog which is great but I didn't read everything all the way through so we're going to stamp this memento black onto here <clears throat> I was wondering I'm like how could they be retiring tear and tape I need that for um all my 3d projects so this this white piece was actually supposed to be up on dimensionals, but we're going to add some dimensionals to this piece. And we're going to cover up his legs a little bit. Kind of right about there. So you can still see her foot and you still see his feet. And that is that. And now I'm going to add some linen thread. This is the only bow <laughs> that I'm adding. I always feel like I need to add something. <clears throat> so since this is linen thread, it's not like a sparkly, gr glittery ribbon. But we'll just tie a bow along the top. So that it has some sort of bow. And move it over. I was like, when I was creating these, I was like, how am I not going to use Wink Estella? You know me, I have to add it to everything. But really, we could add it to the moon if we wanted it to. Or the sun, I should say, if we want it to. But there's our first card. And we are done. This moon's a little, uh, I keep calling it a moon, the sun. The sun is a little darker. So there's our first project. Let me wash my stamps. I don't think I'm using this one again, but I'll leave it out. Now I need the black. Okay. So what'd you guys think of that card? It's hard to come up with masculine cards, I'll admit. 
<clears throat> this is our second card. And I believe I have most of it cut, but your card base is again four and a quarter by 11. <clears throat> this is Smoky Slate. This is five and a quarter by four pool party. We have a smaller rectangle. So I use the stitch rectangles. And then I have the um, other rectangle for it. We're gonna do the same kind of blending on this one. So let's go ahead and do our stamping first because, um, because of the coloring. I did a card with this set a long time ago and posted it on Pinterest and it was my most liked, it's one of my most liked or pinned cards. Uh, um, why am I in this? One of my most liked pins, or it gets pinned up a lot. I'm so confused. <laughs> but it was kind of like my simplest card, and I got the most likes on it. So this is pool party, and we're going to go with the dark first. We're going to color the lines in again with the dark. But yeah, I was kind of surprised. I was like, wow, this was one of my most simplest cards that I made. I think it was when the stamp set first came out. But I still get that card pinned to this day. I guess. Um, they say sometimes simple is the best. I think, uh, you know, people new to stamping, they can't do all the die cutting and all that. It's a little bit much for them. So, or they want something quick quick and easy. So there's our pool party shirt. For the chair, I use light and dark, real red. So the stripes, if you could see them, there's a stripe there, stripe there, I use the dark. Um, the stripe here, and then kind of down here. And then we're gonna do the rest with the light. Um, this chair. I wanted to add the, I actually wanted to use Poppy Parade, but I don't know, it just wasn't, um, to me the colors were just not going together as the red did. I don't know. That's just me. So on the hat, which color is this one? We're going to do dark crumb cake. Oops. I'm sorry if I just shook you guys all over. I think I hit my head on the camera. So we're going to do dark. I'm going to do his little band. Oh, let's do the dark on the shorts since I have it out. And um, go back to doing his band on his hat and the light crumb cake a light crumb cake do you guys like to color I actually like coloring these I usually um, use the blends quite a bit and just a little bit on his hat there we'll fill it in with the light yeah I like to I like to uh, do this coloring I don't think I'm good at coloring, but the blends make me look like I'm good at coloring. So the blends are my my best friend. Um, how many of you like using blends? The, we used to have the... Um, well, I mean, we have, we still do have the watercolor pencils, which I used to like as well. But um, when we came out with the blending brushes, it seemed like I just stopped using them. Okay. <clears throat> Kelly, you like to color, but outside the line sometimes. I know, we're, but you know, 
that's what happens. I think I did the last one out of the lines. So we're gonna blend again and we're gonna use Sahara sand at the bottom. Remember this is really dark and it's just adding a little bit of color at the bottom. So maybe he's sitting on a beach or something. And uh, actually I did that little corner a little bit too dark. So maybe he's sitting in some dirt somewhere. <laughs> Silly me, silly me. Just add some color there. Okay. And this time, instead of using the, um, the balmy blue, I'm going to use pool party since that's what we used on his shirt and we're using on the card. So we'll, our sky is going to be pool party. And again, just lightly, just to add just a little bit of color in there. And we're gonna use the Mango Melody again, but this time we're only gonna put like a quarter sun. We're gonna use the same piece and then just put it there in the corner like that, brush some off, and then there's your sun. So there's the sun, isn't that cool? That's why I love these blending brushes. You can create a lot. Um, so our coloring is done. Let's go ahead and um, Emboss this one. This is the painted uh, texture embossing folder. Again, I just wanted to add some texture in the back. Um, this is actually kind of one of my favorite ones. Now, oops, wrong one. That's because that one had the magnetic plate on it. I don't want to have to run and get my other plates. now that I'm doing this, I'm thinking oh, I should have put some color on this. You can actually put ink on your um, embossing folder and run it through and it gives it another kind of texture. So, but we're going to need to cut out our squares from the DSP. So this I can't find my my one piece that I used. I guess I didn't put it in here. Let me see if I have it in my stack. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the piece, of, um, maybe. So the squares are the stitch squares. So we're gonna use a couple of those. And we'll use the Big Shot because the Big Shot has a magnetic plate. So we're gonna Cut out two of these. Like I said last time, these stitch squares are going away, so we gotta use them while we can. And another one here. Um, Kelly, have you tried using the color lifter when you color out of the lines? Um, Sometimes it helps. It depends how much color I have put on. That mine seemed to be um, a little bit too juicy. <laughs> so it doesn't work so well. So the piece that's going to go behind the um, rectangle is going to be... Um, three and three eighths. Three, one, two, three. Three and three eighths by two. Okay, so then this one is going to adhere to here. Okay, let's get all our pieces. So 
So we can adhere this one to, what do you guys think about the real red onto the pool party? Do you like it or so-so? Now we'll add this one to the card base. Trying to mix colors. My next card, oh my gosh, is my favorite. I love the colors together. Let me move that around so it's... I love, love, love the, the next card's colors. That's why I think I saved the best for the last. So we're just gonna adhere these on and just leave a little bit of border on each side, on top and side. Um, you know, you wanna add color to the masculine cards. You don't want them just like neutral colors. We want them to pop. And I will have a bonus card on my um, blog probably tomorrow, just depending on how I feel and I can get it on there. Um, it was one of my original cards and then I changed it up. I was like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't sure about it. But then, because it's neutral colors. Yeah, I agree, Kelly, with that, uh, the color lifter. So we're just going to put this right on here. And we can stamp with pool party. We're going to stamp. I was like, where did my thing go? Relax your way. Ah. Totally crooked. That's me though, Lisa with the crooked head. But I thought I had a backup one. See, I did backup stuff in case I wasn't feeling good <laughs> and I had to bow out. But here's the backup one. So we're gonna add some mini dimensionals here. Yeah. Sometimes my fingers are too fat for these little things. But yeah, Debbie, I, I agree as well with the, the blends. So we're going to put this one over to the side like this. And we're going to add a piece of basic white, five and a quarter by four, in the inside. Let's just glue this down real quick. And my cards were kind of simple and basic just because I wasn't feeling well. But I think they will work. And so we're gonna put that down and then we're gonna put It's Your Day and Pool Party on the inside. And I thought I had some gray granite ribbon where I could have tied some sort of thing on this one. What the heck happened? I got something on there. So that's our second card. Um. I was, again, trying to put those colors together, the red with the, uh, the pool party. So there's card number two. Let me clean off my stamps real quick so that we don't, oops, have a mishap where I drop it on my next card. I don't think I'm using those stamps. So we can get this all out of the way. I don't need this blending brush. I don't need the hole punch. Okay. So we're already on to our third project, our third card. 
and like I said, I love these colors together. But you know, I'm a green kind of girl, so this is Granny Apple Green and Night of Navy. <clears throat> love, love, love these colors together. So we are going to start out with a four and a quarter by 11 piece of Night of Navy. We're going to need a five and a quarter by four piece of Granny Apple Green. So let's do four by five and a quarter piece of Granny Apple Green. I love these, um, the Bright's DSP pack too. And then we're gonna need, this is a two and three quarter by two and three quarter square. I had to write it so that I would remember and hopefully not get the um, the measurements mixed up like last time. And then the Knight of Navy is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths because it's gonna go on there like that. And we're gonna cut out a stitched square. I didn't have that one cut out. So basic white. Um, uh, my on mine I went and stamped the image first and then cut the square <clears throat> because the legs get cut off a little bit which is fine because you really can't tell but let's see when I stamp on here now um, see over here the legs get cut off but you can't really tell so let's try like I said, I had stamped my image first on my white uh, paper, then cut it out because then I knew where to cut the um, the legs off at. So there you go. It works either way. I'm just trying to see if you guys have any more comments. And then we're gonna do some coloring again. And this time we are using the Granny Apple Green on Child's. Um, trying to see if these are a light or dark shirt. So again, I'm just going over the lines with the dark. And we'll fill in with the light. everybody getting warmer weather we're starting to get our mornings have been cold and then our afternoons the sun comes out but then the evenings the wind comes out again and then that's where just all the pollen I remember living in Texas we used to do have to deal with a lot of allergies <clears throat> so there's that one excuse me and then um, this is pool party again. I'm going to use on the dad shirt. And these ones are super cute for your sons. If you have older sons that have children, these uh, cards would be perfect to get give them. Just to let them know, hey, you know, you're doing a great job being a dad. Sometimes the men don't get credit you know it takes a lot it takes a lot to be a parent these days but even my son-in-laws I can give them to my son-in-laws you know but those of us who lost our fa have lost our fathers it's not something that we can give anymore I just give to my brothers on Father's Day, and my son-in-laws. I lost my father-in-law last year as well, so. so that one is the pool party shirt. I'm like, I'm sorry that, you know, these are a lot of coloring, so I'm not sure. This is dark, balmy blue that I have for the pants. 
And I guess I didn't realize I had different colors. Um, so this is dark balmy blue and this is light night of navy. I think I, the reason, oh, wow, I think I did these wrong. I'm not sure <laughs> what, I was gonna say, I think I did, the reason I have the two different colors is because night of navy is so dark. Ah, if I would have used the dark night of navy. So his pocket there is gonna be just a little bit darker. Maybe I should go over the whole pocket so then it don't look so bad. How funny. Now let's color in the little boy's pants with the light. <clears throat> I was wondering why I had two different colors. Well, now I know why I have two different colors. So we'll color the ivory in. I feel like I keep hitting my head on the camera. I hope I'm not bouncing you guys around all over. I put it in a different position today to see if it was going to make a difference. It's not moving. Let's get the face here. And I don't I need those crumb cakes again. I, well, I guess I because I had them in both the other ones. That one's ivory, light crumb cake, um, dark crumb cake. So we'll go over the hair with the dark crumb cake. Oh, you know what? That's why I didn't have the crumb, crumb cake. I did his hair blonde. So let me see. Now that, I, now that I added that brown in there, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll have brown highlight. How funny. Sorry for the squeaking. But there, that actually don't look too bad. And then the dark. What color has she in? The wrong color. Smoky slate. And what color is the little shoe? So it was really windy yesterday, Kelly. Uh, are you guys still getting a lot of snow? Uh, Kelly is in Colorado Springs. So we're gonna go ahead and layer these. We'll add the um, Granny Apple Green to the Night of Navy. And then we're gonna add the square onto that. I like doing those little bit of layers just for that little bit of color. I think it makes a big difference when you add those. Layers of color. And then we'll add this piece. You know, I forget to use my Color Family DSPs quite a bit, I have to admit. And when I was creating this class, I was actually going to use the Tasteful Touches DSP because I felt like it was, you know, masculine. It's the woodsies and all that. But I really like these colors better, using the colors. So we're going to add this on top with dimensionals. Okay, and we'll put here in the top in the center. Do you guys have a problem not adding um, bows to your uh, projects? <laughs> I mean, you could tie a knot. A lot of times I tie a knot. Oh, Debbie, you guys don't mention the S word, huh? <laughs> I mean, I am guess I'm fortunate that we don't get snow here. 
But you know, if we want to go to the snow, we just go four hours away up to like Lake Tahoe or actually closer than that. So I stamped the I Grew Up Loved in Night and Navy and I put it over to the right side because we're gonna stamp Thanks to You in Granny Apple Green on this little rectangle. And I hope I got this one better. Well, it's a little better. This is, I just don't wanna stick my head into the camera. So I'm kind of guessing where I'm stamping. So these are both gonna go on with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Yeah, so if we wanna go the snow, we can go. And um, actually we have uh, a few times we take our trailer up and um, kind of by Yosemite, go up there, camp, and then just drive a little bit further up to the snow. Yosemite, a lot of times when it snows, we're actually trying to get out there maybe this week, maybe, well, I guess tomorrow or Friday. Um, but Yosemite, usually when it gets a lot of snow, you can't get up there. The roads are closed. And you know what? I put this one in the center, and we don't need that one in the center. I just really see I'm talking. Because we don't want one in the center because it's going to be the height of it since these are on dimensionals. And then if you want it to put one, you would have to double up on these. So there is that one. That is my last card. And I'm gonna add a, a card base inside this one too. And I should have added a car base and card base in the first one. Just especially the Knight of Navy because it doesn't, uh, it's too dark to write in. And I forgot to put it in my first card. So those are our three cards for the day. And they were super easy. That's what happens when you're not feeling well. You just do easy projects. I hope that you guys like them. There's my other cards. I like using the blending brushes. Um, but there's the cards. I hope you guys like them. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you back here next Wednesday. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thank you, Kelly. I'm glad that you like the cards. Hopefully you guys can use them. And if you don't have, um, you know, you could change up the sentiments to... Uh, do whatever you would like you know birthday or whatever but I hope you guys have a great week and thank you so much for joining me I appreciate it thank you Debbie you guys all have a great week bye bye